So welcome to EAF Top 10s. Today we are considering Top 10 Powers and Abilities of Albus Dumbledore. Dumbledore is a powerful character from Harry Potter series. He is the most powerful character in the Harry Potter. Dumbledore born in the Godric Hollow is son of Kendra and Percival Dumbledore. His father went to Azkaban. Soon after he joined in the wizarding school, Hogwarts. He was powerful even when he was a student. Dumbledore met another powerful wizard Gellert Grindelwald, and in a little time they had became friends. Dumbledore had explained that they were closer than brothers. Together they made plan to throw out international statue of secrecy and establish wizarding dominance over muggles. At the heart of their plan it was Deathly Hallows. And once there was an argument between Dumbledore and his brother along with Grindelwald. Soon it changed into a three-way duel and Dumbledore's sister was dead. Grindelwald went to his own country and Dumbledore left to bury his sister. From that moment onwards Grindelwald and Dumbledore had never met until the legendary duel. When Grindelwald went to his country and to seek Deathly Hallows. He had killed many peoples for his plan of wizarding dominance. He was building an army while Dumbledore was training young wizards at Hogwarts. He avoided the chance to meet Grindelwald for some variety reasons and moreover Grindelwald had the knowledge which Dumbledore feared most. Who killed Ariana Dumbledore? His sister. Dumbledore feared the knowledge. And there was an blood pact between them that they will never fight each other. But at 1945. Dumbledore defeated Grindelwald at height of his power and master the Elder Wand. The most powerful wand in the world. Dumbledore then continued his job as a professor at Hogwarts. Later he become headmaster. When there was wizarding was in the British against Voldemort. When everyone feared him Dumbledore was the only one that Voldemort had feared. And in the fifth book he had dueled with Voldemort and gained upper hand in the duel. He was killed by Severus Snape. But the death was planned between them. As Dumbledore was cursed by an horcrux, he changed his terrible death into a self-sacrifice. Choosing sacrifice rather than suicide or normal death. Which eventually led Voldemort to seize the Ministry of Magic and the defeat of Dark Lord. Dumbledore is a powerful wizard. He invented the twelve use of dragon blood. He had a vast knowledge and understood the magic deeply. Even his normal spells are so powerful. He is fear for dark wizards, both Gellert Grindelwald and Lord Voldemort feared him, because there is no doubt he is the most powerful wizard that the world had ever seen. He had mastered all the three Deathly Hallows but not at the same time. However Dumbledore was not proud or vain that might be the reason he had used his true form of power only in rare occasions. And he doesn't need to put too much risk for dueling with powerful wizard like Voldemort. This clearly shows how powerful he is. So let's look top 10 his powers and abilities. Before entering to the matter please subscribe the channel and share this video. This video is created by Ajib Salim MT. EAF Top 10s. So let's look his top 10 powers. Number 10. Apparition and Disapparition. It is the teleportation in the wizarding world. Apparition means appearing in an area from thin air while disapparition means disappear from the area. Generally wizards study apparition when they are 17. And there is a license for legal apparition. Apparition and disapparition cannot be done in place bounded by anti-apparition or disapparition jinx. Dumbledore is highly skilled in the apparition, he is the only wizard who could apparate silently other than Lord Voldemort. Dumbledore is well experienced and trained in both apparition and disapparition. His apparition are faster than others with a great silence. Dumbledore managed to disapparate from Hogwarts with the help of Fox, his phoenix while apparition and disapparation in ground of Hogwarts are considered as impossible. He used this power in the duel with Voldemort too. To escape from killing curse. Which proves Dumbledore's speed and accuracy in the apparition as well as disapparation. Number 9. Invisibility. Invisibility is one of the rare gift and a trusted friend of Dumbledore. When Dumbledore met Gellert Grindelwald, as both were powerful and clever, they shared their knowledge, spells and powers. Both Albus Dumbledore and Gellert Grindelwald can become invisible by the true magic. Both of them needs neither a cloak nor any other thing to become invisible. Dumbledore had explained his and Grindelwald's ability to become invisible to Harry at King's Cross after his death. However we had seen his ability to become invisible in the Harry Potter and Philosopher's Stone. He explained it as he doesn't need a cloak to become invisible. Dumbledore can perform a strong disillusionment charm to invisible. Proving his talent in stealth. As Dumbledore can become invisible by himself he can see invisible things also, this ability is very useful as it can be used to spy, as well as to hide. Number 8. Hexes and Jinxed. 
Dumbledore is a powerful wizard, who might went through all the branches of magic. Dumbledore had gained awards for spell casting. His spells are so powerful even without Elder Wand, he is master in altering and modifications. Dumbledore knows highly advanced spells and has a special ability to do anything with wand which had never seen before. Dumbledore is also a master in hexes and jinxes, in Harry Potter and Order of Phoenix, when Harry was caught by Malfoy and later the Minister of Magic along with other important employees of Ministry came to Hogwarts to expel Harry Potter from Hogwarts. Later it seems to arrest Dumbledore we had seen that Dumbledore hex the Aurors and Umbridge, conjured some cloud-like fog. He single-handedly successfully hex them without any difficulty even though Aurors are highly trained wizards and skillful duelists. When coming to Harry Potter and Half-Blood Prince Ron suggests that Dumbledore might teach highly advanced hexes and jinxes to Harry privately. In the Battle of Department of Mysteries Dumbledore managed to jinx all the Death Eaters other than Bellatrix who escaped for a variety reason. Number 7. Occlumency. Occlumency is the obscure branch of magic. It allows one to shut his own mind and protect the mind from extra penetration. It is one of the useful magic against Legilman. Occlumency was first introduced in Harry Potter and Order of the Phoenix, when Dumbledore appointed Snape to teach Harry Occlumency. Dumbledore had mastered Occlumency, that even the greatest Legilman ever could not penetrate into his mind. He is well skilled in controlling memories, thoughts and emotions. Dumbledore used a penisive to handle the memories, Dumbledore is also skilled in Legilman C, he is an accomplished Legilman to know when a person lies to him. As Dumbledore used this ability on Creature and even Harry. Dumbledore can block Voldemort's Legilman C, while Voldemort is the greatest Legilman ever in the wizarding world. Dumbledore's friend Gellert Grindelwald is also skilled in Occlumency as he proves it when Voldemort asks him about Elder Wand. The same skill also make Dumbledore's mind well protected from others. Number 6. Alchemy. Alchemy is one of the mysterious branch of magic. It is taught to 6th and 7th year students of Hogwarts. In earlier days alchemy was related to making a magical substance called Philosopher's Stone. Which makes any metal into gold and those who drink the elixir from it will become immortal. Nicholas Flamel is the only one who successfully created an Philosopher's Stone. Albus Dumbledore is also skilled in alchemy, he also have a deep knowledge in this subject. In the Chocolate Frog card of Dumbledore, it is stated that Dumbledore is well known for his work in alchemy with his partner Nicholas Flamel. Dumbledore had a deep knowledge in the making of Philosopher's Stone. He can make a Philosopher's Stone, if he needed that means he can be immortal whenever he needed. Dumbledore invented the twelve use of dragon blood which were previously unknown to the wizarding world. Dumbledore gained awards for ground-breaking performance in alchemy, which clearly proves his knowledge and power in alchemy. Number 5. Potions. Potions is one of the main branch in magic. It is taught from first-year students in Hogwarts. It is highly different from other subjects like transfiguration, charms and defense agents dark arts. There is only rare use of wand in potions as it mostly concerned with other ingredients. Potions are highly useful. It can change shape, being truth, make love and many many others things can be done with potions. Potions includes venoms and its antidotes too. Dumbledore undoubtedly master in the potions. Even when he was young he wrote articles in a famous for a famous magazine Potion Pioneer. In the second book Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets Dumbledore quickly understood what potion could save Flitch's cat when it was petrified by Basilic. Dumbledore made a potion to make Harry sleep in the fourth book Harry Potter and Goblet of Fire. In the Half-Blood Prince he could quickly understood the nature of emerald potion made by Voldemort. Number 4. Charms and Enchantment. Both charms and enchantments are highly useful branch magic. Dumbledore had proved his skill in both these subjects. Dumbledore casted many protection and enchantment around Hogwarts for the security. His enchantments are highly powerful as well as advanced. Albus Dumbledore is highly skilled in charm. In The Prisoner of Azkaban he wandlessly casted a slowing charm to save Harry while falling from the broomstick. Dumbledore could cast a disillusionment charm that is so powerful which even make Dumbledore invisible. He invented a way to pass messages through Patronus charm. In Harry Potter and Goblet of Fire. He casted a circle to ban young students which prove itself highly efficient by Fred and George. In the fifth book he made the number 12 Grimwald Palace completely invisible. 
He made the water in the pool to rise and cover Lord Voldemort like a moored cock in that Voldemort could not escape and forced to disapparate. He can cast a long-lasting fire which requires a high skill. Number 3. Transfiguration. Transfiguration is one of the most difficult branch in magic. It is a theory-based subject, well work in scientific inclined mind. Transfiguration includes changing the physical appearance of objects, conjuring a substance from nothing, vanishing an existing substance, along with switching spell. Dumbledore is master in transfiguration. The professor who examined Dumbledore in transfiguration and charms at the newt said that Dumbledore had done things with a wand which he had never seen before. He worked as professor in transfiguration at Hogwarts. Dumbledore is the one who taught Voldemort this subject. Dumbledore transfigured great Slytherin banners into Gryffindors, conjured various flowers and fireworks from his top of wand. In the film version of Harry Potter and Order of Phoenix, he transfigured Voldemort's thousands of glass pieces into fine sands. Dumbledore conjured a fiery rope against Voldemort which rounded both Voldemort and his shield. All this proving Dumbledore's ability in transfiguration. Number 2. Wandless and Non-Verbal Magic. Most of the wizards need anything to channel their magic, and some need to tell loudly to cast spells. But the greatest wizard neither need wand nor need sound to perform magic. He could cast both wandless and nonverbal magic simultaneously. He had done an outstanding skill in wandless and nonverbal magic. Dumbledore fought with Voldemort without uttering a word and had done more complex and numerous magic in the duel than Voldemort. He continuously and numerous time dodged Harry with hand gestures. Transfigured giant Slytherin banners with clap of his hand. Summoned a boat without wand in the cave, created a firestorm at his weakest form without any word. Casted a slowing charm neither using a wand nor any word but simple hand gesture. Dumbledore had conjured hundreds of pillows and bed without uttering a word. Hex ors non-verbally along with conjuring a cloud-like substance non-verbally. Arrested all the Death Eaters expect Bellatrix Lestrange by not using any word. Number 1. Master Duelist. Dueling is a fight between two wizards. Some are silly duel while others are deadly duel. A skilled duelist need powerful spells, vast knowledge, high accuracy, unbelievable speed, with good tactics. All these things can be seen in Dumbledore. Which makes him a general enemy to dark wizards while others see him as a protection. Dumbledore even at his weakest form created Firestorm single-handedly. Even at old age he gained upper hand in duel with Voldemort, who is the greatest dark wizard ever. In the duel with Voldemort it is true Dumbledore had played defensively. If he truly meant to an attack duel he would have changed Voldemort into again as a form which is lesser than God. Dumbledore held the largest and most skilled duel in the wizarding world history with his old friend Gellert Grindelwald. He managed to defeat Grindelwald at his peak of power while Grindelwald has thousands of followers and most powerful want in his hand. Dumbledore managed to defeat an army of Death Eaters within very short time. He had defeated Aurors again with one simple and sudden strike. All these prove his ability and skill in duel. So that's all today, don't forget to subscribe the channel and turn in notification as well as like the video.